So here it is, my first maiden voyage of the native watercraft Titan 12 Propel. And I'm sitting here trying to figure out which foot do I put in? Like, I have never gone out in a kayak. I uh, chose to go left foot first and the closest. And now I'm taking half of my paddle. I, luckily, I bought a paddle and going backwards trying to get into some deeper water. I'm right next to the boat ramp at Renegade, Renegade Point and Strawberry Reservoir in Utah. I've got my poles with me. Obviously, I wanted to do some trolling for some kokanee uh, before the season ended. But uh, here we are. I'm There's some people shore fishing. There's a girl wading up to her thighs. And yeah, I'm just going to try and figure out. That's the first time I put that paddle in there. Let's see. Figured it's deep enough, and I'm, before I coast into where everybody's launching their boats, I'm going to put the propel drive down, and, uh, you know, it's already, I got it sort of attached, just got to drop it in there, put the hatch in, and then here it is. This is the big moment. Dun, dun, dun. And, uh, yeah, so, like, I'm spinning. I've got three spins about now, and nothing is happening. Nothing, this doesn't nothing's moving. I'm like, how is this not working? So now I'm freaking out because I'm sliding into where the, the boat ramp is. The people are launching. So I'm like, I better get out of here before some Yahoo runs me over. And I'm pan I'm in like full on panic mode. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. Good thing I had a paddle bending branches, angler ace paddle. I love it. They're super light. And, uh, so yeah, this is, uh, I just discovered what the problem was. Um, it was the propeller. The propeller completely came off and I don't think that it actually arrived in the correct condition when I got it. And I didn't know. I've never seen it before. I've never used it. Um, when I got home later, I looked at some videos and discovered that there supposedly is a screw that goes in to hold it. That's like tightened with a, there, there's the propeller. Yes. That's not how I envisioned my first trip in a native watercraft Titan 12 propel propel being the keyword here. Um, but yeah, so I looked at the video and it had said, that, uh, you know, which had like a screw and you have like a shear pin and all that. I honestly think that the shear pin that was probably holding it on was already busted probably. And there was no screw. I never saw one. And I always thought that was, when I looked at it, I was like, the soups are weird, but that's the way it came. And I didn't seem like the box had been opened. And, uh, yeah, here's, I'm sitting here battling in the most extreme disappointment ever. I wanted to go trolling. I had been spending a month and waited for the, you know, the boat arrived dinged up and waited for the rudder. I'm a, you know, here I go. I go to up to Moon Lake and I can't go out. I go to a whole nother place and, and, uh, yeah, ship happens. I totally named this boat, right? But guys, you know, nothing ever goes as planned and you gotta try and make a little lemonade out of the lemons. So here I am like contemplating what the heck am I going to do? Don't panic. Don't fall in the water. I'm just going to go fishing. Because look, it's beautiful. It's totally beautiful outside. <sighs> you know, so anticlimactic. The first, like literally the first three spins and boom, it's busted and you're floating out there. And at this point, it's like so much effort to get that boat. I was so tired and I'm just like, I'm just going to do it. So I decided, uh, since no trolling, I was going to put on a lure and, uh, this is the lure that I picked. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is, uh, my very first waves in a kayak. I was panicking on the inside because I did not know, you know, it's like, okay, my, my propel system is busted. I've got paddles. I've never done this before. Please, baby Jesus, let me be stable. And it was, it was. I was toying with the rudder, sort of turning into it, and it, it was okay. So, you know, slow confidence builder. And here I'm like, hmm, where am I going to go? I didn't want to go too far out in the middle. All right, so I'm tucking my paddle away, and this is the very first cast from my native watercraft, Titan 12 
propel slash paddle right now. Got a little my first cast out there. Not too bad for just sitting there. And guys, you're not gonna believe it. I'm just sort of playing it a little bit, a little top water. Boom, boom. First cast in the native Titan and I got a fish. First cast, I got a fish and it was cute. I caught quite a few fish here. Yeah, they, these are, so Strawberry Reservoir has kokanee rainbows. Um, we've got chub, I think. Um, and the main predator is the Bear Lake cutthroat that they have in there. And there's, there's quite a few that are in with what they call a slot between 15 and 21 inches. You have to release them because what they do is they make monster rainbows. I've caught some monster rainbows from shore, but that's a nice little Bear Lake cutthroat right there. I honestly felt so overwhelmed at this point that... I decided I was not, uh, you know, I'm just going to catch and release everything. I just can't deal with all the stuff with the kayak and then cleaning fish today. I'm just like, if I can catch stuff, I am happy. So I'm pretty happy. Look at there. There's a beautiful bear lake cutthroat. And uh, just going to get this first cast. That's right. Woo! All right. Things are looking up. Ship happens, and now ship ha good ship happens too, guys. Not just bad ship. <laughs> All right. So now I got to turn myself around a little bit. You can see those guys over there fishing on the shore where I have been for years. For years. Sitting in the sun, as you can see. This is a really high reservoir. We're at 8,000 feet approximately. So sun is hot. It's intense. And... And conversely, it gets really stormy and cold, and uh, it's some crazy weather that happens up here. I haven't quite got down the whole putting the oar, sorry, putting the paddle around. All right, here we go. Second cast from the native Titan 12. I'm just going to put it out there, see what happens. Let it drop a little bit. I'll play it a couple times. I'm doing sort of a slow retrieve with a little jig on it. Boom! That's right, guys. Second cast, second fish. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, I just cannot even believe myself right now. If you were at shore, you'd be thinking that there's nothing biting, but I'm out there. They're all playing on the top of the water, and I got this cute little bear lake cutthroat right here. He's just a little shaker. So uh, thus begins the obligatory fish montage. It was honestly, despite all the problems, uh, just a lot of fun. So here you go.
So in synopsis, it was an okay first day. I learned things I learned. Check the propeller before you put it in the water. If it's screw or whatever's loose, the minute you put some water pressure on it and then push against it and spin your pedals, it probably will break off. Mine broke off. I w didn't hit the bottom or anything. I mean, I just put it in there. I paddled out. <sighs> so that was sort of a downer because I really, really wanted to use the propel system. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen one before. I've never used one before. So I don't know, you know, how to go, oh, that's maybe not right. Live and learn. So, um, but caught lots of fish. Caught it. God, I must have caught close to a dozen amazing Bear Lake cutthroat. I love catching those fish. We're up here at Strawberry Reservoir and it's, it's a good fish to catch. I love to get, I've gotten some really monster rainbows, but the Bear, uh, the Bear Lake cutthroat, man, they can fight. That really big cutthroat I got actually it was pulling me around. He was so strong, but uh, and he bit me. <laughs> the first time I've had that happen by a trout. I've had other fish, but I was going to get the lure and I went to go grab his mouth. And I'll tell you what, those cut those bear lake cutthroat they got sawtooth. That thing bit me. So that's why if you saw me using fish grips, <laughs> learn my lesson really quick on that one. Key takeaways for new kayak owners. Don't park too far away from the ramp. If you have a Titan, they bought the landing gear, but they're on hold. It's been like a month or something now since I purchased the kayak, close to a month, but they've been on hold ever since. And you really need them. I bought, um, I have like a rinky dink pair of wheels and then I bought the Seattle sports, I don't know, it's a, you know, a cart, uh, it's supposed to hold up to like 300 pounds and it's great for what you think, but you can't put it with the Titan. You can't actually put it in the middle of the, you can't actually put it in the middle of the kayak because the kayaks, it's concave. It's con, is that right? Concave, convex? It's concave underneath. So when you go to put those, those two, I had those things standing straight up, the two pads, they can't touch. And instead the wheels touch cause they're a little farther out, you know, it goes farther down and then you can't even move the dang thing. So I had to put the, pretty much the cartwheels where I suspect the landing gear would go on the Titan. Um, cause that was where I could get the pads to touch. So I don't know. I got to think about that. It's, you know, it's a lot, it's heavy, you know, by myself as a lady, it's a challenge for sure. Um, I would, I'm thinking that I'll put the cart on the front part. When I get the landing gear, put the cart on the front part of the kayak. Um, or I'll use those really rinky dink ones on the front. Then I'll have four wheels. Um, and that just feels better to me. Um, but we'll see when the landing gear gets here, how much easier it is. I don't know. It's pretty damn heavy. I'll tell you what. Um, and I try and be careful. Um, I've had issues in the past with, uh, medical stuff and spinal cords and I have a spinal cord stimulator implant. Go figure. So I try to be really careful with any kind of lifting, you know, and just use my legs and use good form and, but still it's a big unwieldy kayak. It's a lot of fun though. I wish I could have pedaled it, but even paddling, I had a lot of fun. I liked the rudder. I could just turn the rudder when the waves were coming, just a little dip of the paddle and the rudder and the waves. And it would turn, it would go in, you know, the direction I wanted. Um, so yeah. And the other thing I learned is figure out my gear that I need beforehand. Like I did a little bit, but then I realized when I got out there, you know, it's having stuff stowed under the seat and stuff that's helps having it there. But I think I would do better to be much more organized in my gear and my, and my tackle and just everything. And then set up 
when I first go out, set up the poles how I want it. Now I get why all these guys have these milk crates with all these poles. Because it's a pain in the ass to go and change everything and balance and everything. So, um, I'm not going to probably watch me. I'm not going <laughs> to, probably not going to do eight poles, but you never know. Um, but I could see like if I had been smart, it worked out for me this time because I broke the propeller. But if I had been smart and gone ahead and hooked up the willow branches and stuff like that, because I wanted a troll. That might have been a little easier, I think. Um, but nonetheless, I managed. I didn't fall in. That was my big worry. I had two big worries. <laughs> two big worries. One's being a girl. Not that my worry was being a girl, but one comes from being a girl. And the other is just, you know, am I going to like ditch this thing and fall overboard? And will I not be able to get back in? And all this stuff. Um, <clears throat> the other... So that was one worry. The other worry was, what if I really have to go to the bathroom? What am I going to do out there? Uh, it like literally wakes me up in the middle of the night. And guys, I get it. You guys can just stand up, pee over the side. And I see these things like she wee or whatever. I'm not going to lie. I figured out how to do it maybe carefully. And if, if it's like really flat and you can't get to shore and it has to happen now. Um, right in the center is where the propeller goes, you know, on the propel and it has a little hatch. Just saying, uh, just with a little careful placement of one's person, I think you could pretty much piss down that hatch in an emergency. So, yeah. So the two things, things that female kayakers probably think about more than dudes. So. Anyways, lots of lessons for me as far as how best to carry it and then how to get it out. You know, all these guys are in a rush on the boat ramp. Gotta get to the water. Gotta get there because the fish, you know, like you're going to like 30 seconds later, you're going to not get the fish. Come on. But, uh, so I blocked, I blocked on the way down. I just drove and did like a big Yui. And then I'll tell you what, getting that kayak back up on the cartwheels was fucking hard at the bottom of the ramp now that everything's this way so i think that's where the landing gear really helps but i managed to do it i set it down lifted it up put it on strapped it on enough so i could get it so i did a yui with my my uh, trailer and then you know you're on a on a hill <clears throat> and i keep these saddles malone saddles on the edge not really to rest the kayak so well, maybe I should, I don't know, but really it's more when I push it on so it doesn't go flying off. So I put, uh, I went and I pulled the kayak to the high, the uphill side, you know, here's kayak, here's cargo trailer. And then I, with the wheel still on it, I lifted up the nose, put the nose on the rails and then pushed from the back almost had, I probably, I probably could have stopped and redone it, but a lady came and helped me, but I almost had a little oopsie there, but push that thing up. And then it slid right into those saddles and held. And then I just latched that on for, you know, good enough up against the saddles, good enough, tight each side, did a front and back and then pulled out the boat ramp. And then when I got back up where it was flat, I just straightened it all out. So but, you know, that's a lot for me, uh, considering my own limitations and things I want to do. I mean, part of me is like, wow, I get a boat, I get a boat, like a motorboat. But it's not, you know, putting in a kayak, it's a lot of work. It's harder than I thought. But I will say, you know, and I did get the biggest kayak and I got the one that I felt was the most stable for obvious medical concerns and things like that. It's just for my own confidence. But, you know, if I had gotten like a little boat or whatever, it wouldn't necessarily be that much easier because I'd still be by myself going down the boat ramp, getting the boat off the boat ramp, trying to tie it up, not have some you who yell at me because I'm some woman's taking up the ramp. Then you got to, you know, tie it off if you got a place to tie it off and then 
go park, go back to your boat, you know, get all your junk, get, go back, go park, go get in. It's, it's, but it's just as much work, not as much heavy lifting, obviously, but man, it was so nice to just, I would have loved to paddle, but paddle with my breaking branches paddle. That was a good one. I bought that angler. Um, just, I could sneak, I could see those fish surfacing, right? You just watch, you could see what they're doing and I could see them sort of nosing around. So I was able to really sneak up on them and there's no way you could have done that in a, a boat like that. Say cut your motor and glide in, but nobody ever does that. So anyways, there's my synopsis of the first, first day of being out in the Titan and appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. I hope this helps somebody. I hope this helps inspire other uh, women who want to try and take on something like the native Titan and try and go for a really big kayak. I really like the stability guys and the turning. I just, I, one day I'll get to pedal it someday and I'll have landing gear and I'll get this all sorted out. But uh, if you could put up with my fat ass and my fat arms and whatever, and just appreciate somebody having fun fishing. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. Tap that notification bell and uh, you'll get up, get notices when I update. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys.